I'd like to welcome everyone to our uh, February school board meeting. Call room, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jewell? Here. Mrs. Lanehart? Here. Mr. Duffin? Here. Mrs. McIntosh? Here. Mr. Moore? Here. I'd like to everybody stand and get the mic. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mr. Hope for the student and program recognition. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. Uh, members of the board, we have, uh, like the introduce Kim Perkins. She is our director of special education. She makes her way uh, to the podium. I'll turn it over to her. We have some uh, presentations and recognitions in her department. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity to recognize our wonderful teachers and also some amazing students. I have tonight Rebecca Bratzman who ha is going to share an outstanding student of hers, and also Tyler Tincher has a few that he'd like to recognize as well. So, Rebecca, if you'd like to come up. I would like to recognize one of my students for her amazing work ethic. She always goes <coughs> above and beyond. And this award goes to Birchland Tolby for her strong commitment to academic achievement. professional attire. I came straight from baseball practice. So uh, you now it is being coaching and busy and stuff like that. So uh, I, uh, I'm here to uh, recognize four of my students um, for a new program we started this year. Um, it's called the ICRON program, which stands for Integration of Knowledge and Resources for Occupational Needs. Um, so the program is um, a transitional youth services program designed for young adults uh, between the ages of 14 and 26 years old who are experiencing barriers during transition into work or further education. The goal at ICRON is to provide young adults with a positive and safe atmosphere in which they can work toward achieving their vocational, educational, and personal goals. The Transitional Youth Services afford students the opportunity to learn and improve their educational skills, vocational skills, social skills, problem-solving skills, assertiveness, and goal-setting. The curriculum is designed to assist youth with a variety of disabilities or barriers to establish a meaningful role within society. The curriculum is developed based on evidence-based practices for employment, social skills training, and violence, substance abuse prevention, and addresses a wide range of appropriate work behaviors and social interaction. All services offered by ICRON provide accommodations to persons, to persons served based on individualized needs. Emphasis is placed on active participation, accomplishments, and self-respect. And thus far, the five kind of um, key uh, skills that the students have been worked on are communication, nonverbal communication, enthusiasm and attitude, teamwork, and self-advocacy. All right, so uh, on to recognizing the students. Um, so four of my students are um, actively participating in the program. Um, three of which are present this evening. Um, the first one is Adam Dalek. <laughs> Next is David Gibson. And then 
lastly is Ricky Shepard. And then uh, a student that isn't present this evening um, that also participates in the program is Brandon Dean. of Beaumont High, I move that Local Ordinance 416, the law against dancing within Beaumont Town limits, be abolished. And I, I, I know that this idea scares a few people, and it shouldn't. In the Bible, Ecclesiastes assures us that to every purpose under heaven, there is a time for everything. There is a time to laugh and a time to weep. There is a time to mourn. And there is a time to dance. Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock, and we have a matinee on Sunday at 1 o'clock? 2 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you. While well, board's making their way forward, uh, thank you very much to our drama club. Please get out and support them. They do some really amazing work. It's pretty, it's just cool. If you can make it, be there. It's still online. You can still do tickets online. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> uh, CHSTheaterArts.org. Say one more time. CHSTheaterArts.org. CHSTheaterArts.org. 
theaterarts.org. Preserve your seal. Be there or be square, right? <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you. That's a tough one. <laughs> Time for uh, visitors' comments. If we have any visitors that have something to say, I guess now we'll move on to the trailer report. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. <coughs> uh, one non action item before we get started tonight. Uh, just a reminder the OSBA Spring Regional Conference is Tuesday, March the 12th at the Warren County Career Center. Uh, registration begins at 5 o'clock. Uh, we will all be in attendance. So I think that's the first time we've all attended. And a couple of us will get some special recognition uh, that night for uh, board member uh, service. We have two board members that will get uh, awards for 10 years of service uh, at that meeting. So congratulations, Mr. Jewell, Mr. Duncan, for 10 years of service. Um, action items. I have two sets of minutes. Uh, I have the minutes from our regularly scheduled January 28th meeting, as well as the special meeting that was held on February 11th. So, first by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Duncan. Call the roll, please. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. And Mr. Moore? Yes. Uh, secondly is the financial report. Um, again, no surprises, we're rolling along. Uh, audit should be, hopefully, I was hoping to be able to give you an audit update tonight. Uh, don't have one, didn't hear from them in the last week. So hopefully I'll be able to give you an update or you may be getting an email from them in the next week or so that it's wrapped up in this week. So, and, uh, have anything else for last financial report? First by Mrs. Lanehart. Second. Uh, Mrs. McIntosh, all the roll, please. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mr. Neffin? Yes. And Mr. Jewell? Yes. And then finally, I have a couple of uh, appropriation modifications. Our, every so often, our federal grant amounts change, and this is just reflecting uh, those changes for uh, Title I and uh, Title IV, which is for student support. Second by Mrs. Lanehart. Call the roll, please. Mr. Duffin? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. That's my report for the month. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, at this time, we'll turn it over to Mr. Hill. Thank you again, Mr. Jewell, members of the board. I'm going to let you again make your way to the front row here. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It's your exercise. Not quite as much as the the drama club did, but uh, I don't we don't, we don't have enough uh, life squads in the uh, township here. So uh, what I want to do uh, now, and I don't know if we need to, to dim any lights or not. That may be possible. Uh, just wanted to give uh, everybody a, an update on the construction and what's what's going on. There's a lot of dirt being pushed around and uh, a lot of pre-preparation. Just kind of bring everybody up to speed. So um, I want to introduce uh, a young man, Nathan Minnick Weber. He's kind of this on site every day. Um, and he, along with uh, the superintendent, Shane uh, Denson, are really kind of the day-to-day guys that keep the whole thing roaring and moving. And, uh, there's a lot of lot of balls in the air at the same time, so uh, we're getting permitting for other phases down the road so that this thing just continues to keep moving. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Nate. Um, if we run into any technical difficulties, then we'll figure it out from there. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hook. Uh, appreciate it. Um, I do have excellent and exciting news to present tonight, which I'm, I'm very excited about. The weather hasn't been the greatest for us. 
Um, but believe it or not, we have made quite a bit of progress, which I'll show in some, in some photos here. It's not glamorous. It's, I think Larry mentioned, uh, it's playing in the mud. I think that's what we, how we describe it out there. But, but we do have focus, we do have purpose, and we are making, making headway towards, uh, towards moving vertical. So uh, we'll move on. Here we go. So my agenda for this evening <coughs> cover, I'm going to show some of the final renderings um, that the architects teams put together. Uh, which are, are pretty close to, to real. It's amazing what they can do these days. It almost looks like the project's finished. So we'll, we'll cover those. Um, project timeline, I'll give an overall snapshot of, of the plan, where we started, where we plan on being as we know uh, today, as well as uh, where we are in the overall scheme of the project. Important news, I'll cover important news. One of those is GMP for the, for the building package. That's, that's huge. Little teaser that's part of the really good news for, for tonight so we'll get to that and I'll, I'll round it out with a budget update okay and this is open if you have questions as I go through it please just just ask away okay okay so this is the overall site plan the architects teams put together you can see the new building it's not there yet we actually have the high school right in the way but eventually the parking lot will be there um, as well as all the practice fields which really just illustrate the amount of green space and adaptability for the overall site, um, which, which is quite a bit of space for some additional fields and athletic events um, should they be pursued in the future. Okay, over this is the site plan, or the, the first floor plan of the project. May have seen this along the way, not many changes to date. So this is the north side, which is the high school wing. This is the corridor to the, to the stadium and the main entrance for the high school and the middle school, as well as the elementary school, which is on the south side of the building. Auditorium in the center. Gymnasium just off to the north. This is the second story section. Classroom wings are all two-story. Your single-story areas are your gymnasium, your shared spaces, your auditorium, cafeteria, and then as well as your middle school gymnasium. Okay, this is the what the finished product will look like here in about a year and a half or so. This is the entrance to the high school. Now we've rounded out and made the selection for brick. So this is this is be very close to what the finished product will look like once we're once we're wrapping up. This is the elementary school entrance. You can see the extended learning areas up above. Okay, and this is as though you're facing your back to the stadium, looking out towards Jamaica Road. This is the connector that connects you to the high school wing, and then what's standing behind me in this picture would be the gymnasium. Okay, this is this, this may be somewhat hard to read, but this is just represents the overall timeline for the project. So where we started design so red details the overall duration of the, of the project the top is the building section and the bottom are the are the demolition portions of the, of the existing buildings so we started in january of 2018 with design green is the uh, permitting bidding time frame or i'm sorry the yellow is the permitting and bidding time frame green is the design and then blue represents construction which started just around Christmas. We had folks out there um, doing the best they can with the, with the weather that we have. But they're doing pretty good. And then rounds out to the bottom section is the abate demo. So you'll see construction runs through summer of 2020, overlapped with completing the abatement demo pieces. Okay? So this just shows the, what we've done thus far. We've got an early site package. That's who's working out there right now. And they started just, we got a notion, let me go back. So they started in November, but work actually really started going in December. This is an aerial from December 7th, before we really started doing anything on site. This is a month later. What you're seeing here is the development of the building pad. It's the first step, so we've got to clear all the vegetation so that we're ready to start utilities and get the building pad ready for foundations. And that's what we've been fighting through this winter. This is an overall site plan 
shows the building in the center, and all these colored lines represent work that's completed, okay? Blue is water. So our water is, is actually 100% complete as far as we can go for this phase. It will finish up and connect back to the, to, uh, to make a full loop around the building once we, once we demo, the, demo the high school. The red represents the storm system. It's important to get that in place before we start building the building, keep the water shed away from the building to allow our masonry and all of our other trades to be able to run around the building and construct. Okay, this is a shot in early February. Told you, it's not glamorous. Believe it or not, there is progress here. We're showing those, the, pad, yeah. the north pad and the south pad. Yep, so, so this is the south pad. So you've got just oriented Jamaica's here. Fair views just on the south side, out of frame here. The new building will sit right in this area right here. And this is the south section, which is the elementary school section. And what this shows here, believe it or not, it's a completed building pad. So the, so the elementary school wing is ready to go, okay? And then as you move north, that's the way we've been working. So we're working here first, and then we're completing the high school wing, which is up here, and you'll see that in the next photo. This shows the high school. 100% ready to go, so we're ready for foundations to start here in the next few weeks. Okay, for today. So today, February 25th. So we've got the early site package working. They're gonna they're gonna continue to go. They're gonna finish out doing the rest of their work until this summer. But we've got to approve our next stage in the project, and that's the GMP for the building package. And that's why we're here today. So what we've been doing over the past two months um, is meeting with the school, the state, and the design team, as well as potential subcontractors to make sure we have an understanding of the project. Um, that we can get the project within the budget and have the right folks ready to deliver the project. And based on all of that effort over this past month, these first two items here, building package approval, on budget for the building package, sounds rather simple, sounds rather easy. In actuality, it's been, very, it's been a very challenging time. This is a very volatile market. Um, a lot of other projects that are going on currently are not in the same places as we are here, but we are able to deliver a GMP on budget and, and on schedule with what we plan on starting with is absolutely huge. And I think that's attributable to, you've got a great team. We worked well with the architect, with the state, and with the school on a, during, through a process that is not, not very easy, very it's difficult. It's a $40 million project. So bringing all folks together to get that done is, is, is rather challenging. And I think what's been, what's been key, and I do want to thank uh, Mr. Hook, um, especially for school districts, you don't build every day. And, it's, and working with the state, they do this all the time. They have processes in place, very difficult. You've got to dot, dot your I's, cross your T's, and get to that, get to that point. And Larry's been, very, been the catalyst to help us to get to that position. <coughs> Okay, also, um, oh, I think I've already mentioned structural subcontractors. We plan to mobilize here in the next month. Okay, and then rounding out where we, where we are today relative to the budget. Total budget for the project is just over, just under 49 million, 48.9. <coughs> Gray represents the budget, and red represents where we estimate to be. Real numbers we receive from subcontractors, and what we're able to deliver this project at the guaranteed maximum price for delivery, right on budget. Any questions? That's right. Like on budget, on schedule. <laughs> Two favorite words. Any questions for the board? That's where we're at. That's right. Of course, we had a pretty uh, nice blow dryer out there in the last 24 hours.
I think for a minute. I
So moved. Confirmed by Mr. Moore. I make a second. A second by Mrs. Lanehart. All the vote, please. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Thank you. 